Very good. Well, we're, we're running pretty much to schedule. I think we're a couple of minutes over, but that's no individual's fault, probably mine for uh, riveting on. But uh, next up, we have uh, Andy Barnetson. He's a regular at conference and uh, Andy is going to be uh, bringing us up to speed with uh, the, 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 the valuable work of the CPI Promotional Committee. So over to you, Andy. Thank you, Tim. Hopefully everyone can see the uh, presentation that's just coming up. Good. Uh, so, good morning everyone. Uh, thank you for the invitation to this slightly unusual format, but delighted to be here to tell you something about the promotional work. Uh, recall that we've done this over many years now, uh, initially to a business customer audience, but in the last couple of years, we've changed our focus and it's been very much towards the consumer. We're going out to the 60 million people across the country and that is a very difficult ask. It's, it's, a, it's a big task we've got and we don't have a big budget to do it, but I do think we've got some good results. <clears throat> so taking the quarters this year one by one, we started in Q1 with pizza boxes and it was topical because we were hearing a lot of voices out there saying, well, you can't recycle a pizza box. So we thought we'd grab the chance to say, actually, yes, you can. And you can see at the top of the screen there, the special box we had made up, my, my thanks to the company that made that. And we put those boxes out to 20 social media influencers and we asked them to post. And pizza's often the top of everyone's list. Uh, but uh, particularly topical, as I say, because we were starting to hear these you cannot recycle messages. So we, we picked up that and used pizza boxes as an inroad to actually cardboard always recyclable. So we went out with those posts, 20 social media posts, 214,000. And the great advantage of social media, of course, you know who's actually engaging. You know when someone likes or, or reshares your, your post. So a good engagement there. And we went on also in quarter one to a youth audience. And we found that the opportunity here was to, uh, to go out to a, a demographic uh, that uh, wouldn't have seen our messages normally. And this was a great chance to see uh, get the message out to kids. What you can see on the left there is the infographic that we we posted in there, we published in their magazine, and we had a comparison of different materials, cardboard, recyclable, renewable, and of course the other materials can't all claim that. So a publication to younger people, 216,000 directly saw that, and additional banner advertising that took us through from their website to ours, and, and more on our website in a moment. <clears throat> Moving into quarter two, and by this point, of course, the pandemic had struck and we had to rethink our program. And so in quarter two, we commissioned some consumer research and under the headline green in quarantine, we were asking people what their opinion was of recycling in lockdown and how they felt about uh, recycling longer term and whether they were going to do more or less recycling when we came out of lockdown. And, and all of that made for some interesting storylines, which we took to radios. And I, as your spokesperson, went out across nine radio interviews. Uh, those interviews went out to 31 radio stations. And we reached there an audience of 1.9 million. So we're starting to see some numbers. And the important thing is, we're going out in different ways to different audiences. The social media was one thing, very targeted to people who had a very specific interest. And this was the first broader approach to a larger number. Coming into quarter three, uh, and this is where we hope to have the really big numbers. You can see them already on screen. Quarter three, again, thinking in a new way because of the pandemic, we've filmed a Vox Pop video. Our agency has stopped people in the streets. How do you feel about sustainability in shopping and we backed that up with some consumer research on how people feel about the cost of being green and a lot of people say it's still more expensive to be green uh, and we, we, we're looking for the cheaper option we need green to be cheaper and we put the, the consumer research together with a vox pop video and we've been very pleased with these results 
picked up, as you can see, by the Daily Mirror online, the Sun online, the Independent, and across those three, we've got out to 146 million. And since I put these slides together just in the last week, we've learnt that 150 local news websites have picked us up as well, which puts another 5 million on top of that. So the VoxFot video alone has taken us out to about 150 million, give or take, uh, in this quarter three. But that's not it, because quarter three has also included engagement with an online artist called Paper Boyo. You can see the image there. Check him out on Instagram. Paper Boyo is famous for his card silhouettes, and he marries them up with famous landmarks in a very humorous way. And he's got 480,000 followers on Instagram. So we engaged him, and you can see the, the picture there, the image of cleaning up the beach. There was another one cleaning up the countryside. And this picture, first of all, became one of his most popular ever with 14,000 likes. So that's 14,000 who've read the messages. You can almost see them down the right side of the screen. 14,000 people have directly said, we, we like your post. And as you can also see, picked up in the evening standard to an audience of 26 million. So we've got some big numbers. It's not just about the numbers. It's about sometimes targeting carefully, but it is sometimes about the big numbers. And we've been very pleased with all of that. Throughout the year, we've had social media. We've been posting on Instagram and Twitter, not with our own profiles, rather with uh, what's called dark posting, where we use the, the, the software to target people who have an interest and we appear on their timelines. But we've had all sorts of images across Instagram and Twitter. And we've also had a series of blog posts on the website. If you haven't been to our website, please do. Very simple, very easy, cardboard.org.uk. You see it there in the corner of the screen. And across the year now, we've reached 825,000 people on the social media. Engagement's 168,000. For an early, pro, early in a programme, without a huge budget, that's not bad going. We're, we're pleased with the results. So there's your snapshot. That's what we've been doing. Quarter four activity continues. Um, I don't have time to talk much about that today, but we're probably going to identify some sort of a sustainability champion and have a cardboard bust made of him or her. Uh, you'll hear more about that in time. So do see the website if you haven't already. Uh, do come to me or the SPA team with any questions. Uh, we're doing a great job. I thank you for your support. Tim, thank you very much. Back to you. Andy, thank you very much. And you must be congratulated on that work. You've done some great work there. Uh, just to remind SPA members, we do actually help fund this activity. And uh, personally, I think you're doing a, a great job and I'm sure the members would, uh, would want to thank you for, for, for the great work that you're doing, Andy. Well done. Thank Excellent. You. Moving on.